Hi everyone, welcome to my next video. I went to Ulta, did a haul, and this is what I bought. The Warrior 3 by Juvia's Place. Pretty excited, I've never tried Juvia's Place products, so let's see how that goes. I also got the Tribe Highlighter Volume 2, also by Juvia's Place. The I Am Magic Setting Powder in White Sands. And then in addition to that, I got a couple random things. I have an anti-dark circle from Garnier Skin Active. I love their stuff. I use a lot of their stuff. But then I also got the Born to Glow Radiant Concealer from NYX in the color Light Ivory. Um, kudos to Gweenie being cute in the back, my pupperoo. Um, so let's get going. Okay, I did my brows off camera. Very bold today, if I do say so myself. Um, I also brushed my hair, tried to do the cute hair flippy thing. Not for me. Okay, so let's get to it. So, we've got Juvia's Place. Oh, my nails look so bad. Juvia's Place Warrior 3. Okay. Uh, ooh really pretty. Let me see it has a little paper on it. I love the packaging. Me and everybody, oh packaging. Um, the packaging is so pretty though. Look at my nails. I tried to do like an EKG for um, National Heart Association, go red day. I guess I'm gonna swatch these bad boys and talk about the swatches. Alright, let's swatch them. Swatches <laughs> all over the place. Swatches, not great. But swatches, holy cow. This purple, this purple, I didn't expect it to be so good. I thought it was going to be meh. But I see what the big hype with Julius Place is. Holy bananas. Um, the green, I've never had a green eyeshadow like that. I'm so excited. I've always seen like those like watermelon eye looks on like Pinterest. And that's kind of weird, but I want to do it. Um, so, uh, like the yellow, the yellow is okay. I don't think I gave it a fair shot though, but it's still like, I mean, you can see it so well. I don't even know if I'm going to do the pink and yellow look anymore because I'm just so baffled by the rest of it. It's so pretty. And the blues, the blues, let me tell you, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, I do feel like I need a transition color. Like I need something to just get me started. So I'm actually gonna start off with Incense from the Norvina palette. Good palette, by the way. Um, so let's get to it. So these this is so beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Anyway, let's keep moving. Okay, so like 30 minutes later I did my liner, I did lashes. I think I'm gonna get different lashes, but I also to put glitter. It's my first time doing that and I'm really proud of myself. So that's what I did. This is the look that I created. Let's give my rating for the Juvia's Place. Juvia's Place, 17 million out of 10. I literally love it so, 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 so much. I think it's so pretty. I literally am speechless and it was like 20 bucks. <laughs> it's even better, right? Perfect. 
I I want kind of you know kind of yeah anyway um in love okay um so now that that's out of the way let's move on to the next thing we can do let me see Garnier skin active clearly brighter sheer tint light medium um anti dark circle eye roller okay let's do this has antioxidant vitamin C caffeine instantly conceals dark circles we'll see about that mine are not that bad so um, um, gently roll under the eye from the inner corner to the outer corner rub in excess until fully absorbed use an a.m. well I just took a shower like 30 I don't know an hour ago I don't know it's a time warp um, looks really pretty um, wish me luck all right hopefully this does something Let's see Ooh, this is like literally like they weren't lying when it said it had a tint okay I thought it would be more of like a serum -y kind of thing but wow I will say ooh. I will say my skin feels really nice now in my under eye. For a second I felt like it was irritating my eyes, but once I rubbed it in it was fine. Um, no smell or anything. I actually really like it. And it says after a week it's supposed to actually like make a difference just naturally. So hopefully that's true. Okay, so let's see what else. It feels nice. And I think, I want to think that it made a difference could be wishful thinking but I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten maybe eight and a half just because I'm not sure if it made a difference um, and we'll actually see how my makeup applies on top but so far I like it okay so now I'm gonna put my base on and I'll be back to for uh, the concealer portion and we'll see how this born to glow performs. I'm going to be very glowy today, I think. Okay, so foundation on. Use this bad boy. Let's crack open the Elf Born to Elf. The NYX, NYX, whatever you guys want to call it. Born to Glow. Oh, satisfying. Um, sorry, I shouldn't touch it. Um, based on it perform how it performs, if it's like weird dries my under eyes it says glow so I have a feeling it's not gonna dry my under eyes but let's see if it makes it really oily I don't know um, so let's do it to it okay so it's a squeeze bottle I kind of like this thing it reminds me of my age rewind but let's see if it's as good as my age rewind let's see Ooh. oh no what have I done? That's so much. I'm so sorry. That is so incredibly much. Holy cow. And it just like won't stop. Okay, I guess I'll, I never really highlight my nose and all that stuff. I mean like, put concealer on it, but I guess I will today. Oh my god. That moment when you realize you played yourself. But I don't know if it's the if it's the sheer amount that I put, the roller, or the concealer. I don't know. It doesn't like hurt. It just kind of burns. Maybe when I blend it in, it'll feel better. If I can blend this in, I put like so much. I hate it. I hate myself. Why did I do this? Do we have a bunch of hits? Ooh. Oh my god. Do I look crazy? I don't know if it's just like that I think I look okay and then once I put my glasses on I look like a freaking clown. Shape tape I'm sure would cancel everything out but shape tape is so drying for me. I only use it for my cut crease really. And um, 
so I don't really want anything like that but this one's really thin and you know I put like a crap ton but it wasn't it doesn't look like I put a crap ton on you know you saw in my face that I regretted all of my life choices but it turned out fine I'm pretty excited okay 9 out of 10 just because it really scared the crap out of me whenever 10 million like half the whole bottle came out in one squeeze I overdid it that was my fault but easy to make that mistake you know what 9.5 out of 10 also because I don't know what's making my under eyes burn <laughs> I'm so excited I don't know if you can tell but I'm really pumped okay um what's next okay I got two more products here so we're gonna bake the under eye with this very excited let's see if it's as messy as the other one Okay, I think I like ate powder, but that's okay. I'm not mad at it, cause it happens. <coughs> so let's just pick some up. Oh, my blender full, and set the under eye. I was gonna break the whole everything, but I'm lazy. I don't feel like it. But, ooh, I'm so excited. Okay, I hope this is good. Alright, good luck. What the heck? We'll just, you know, see how it works for the whole face. The powder, pretty good. You know, now that I'm thinking about it though, I don't know if my under eyes are necessarily that not dark. I don't know, you can't really tell in the video. Also, I put a crap ton of blush on. I didn't mean to. I was using I've been using a different one that doesn't really deposit as much product all at once. And then I use a different one. And it was a lot. Yeah, so let's move on to the highlighter and get this over with. I'm gonna spray myself really quick with Tarte Stay Spray. Side note, something is making my under eyes burn. Not like burn, but it's tingling. And this is supposed to have my brain, this has caffeine in it, it has all sorts of stuff. Of course it's this. If that really bothers you, then don't buy that product. But or just wear it with nothing on top of it. Simple as that. So I'm moving that one down to like, what was it, an eight? I'm gonna move it to seven and a half. Just because of all the burning. Okay, so now moving on to highlighter for real this time. This is the Tribe Highlighter Volume 2 by Juvia's Place. Uh, I mean, by now I'm like in love with Juvia's Place, so I know it's gonna be great. Unless it isn't. I'm just kidding. What a great haul, am I right, boys? Holy cow. It's so cute. I love the packaging, it's gorgeous. Okay. It is. Cracked along the edges. I don't know if you can see that. So that's kind of depressing, but I mean, it's not gonna affect its its um, performance. So let's go ahead and crack into this. really pretty but I think it's too dark for me and I think I got the wrong color <sighs> sad times most everything was a win eye roller half a win because it burns my eyes um, highlighter 10 out of 10 it's so beautiful the fact that it's maybe not the right color for me is my fault not the product just to be fair I guess we'll give it a 9.5 because it was like cracked along the edges um, 
but I think it's just so pretty. Maybe I'll give it to one of my friends. I don't know. It's just a little, I feel like it's a smidge too dark. I'm going to look back at the footage later and be like, oh my god, I love it. But um, for right now, I think it's a smidge too dark. The eyeshadows killed me and sent me to heaven. I think it's so pretty. I'm so proud of myself because I really, I hardly ever do cut creases. All the colors are like banging your face. Like this is... I'm blown away like this is what I expected of Huda Beauty and Huda Beauty is very pretty but I wanted to feel like my whole world changed and I feel like my whole world changed with Juvia's place I think it's just phenomenal I think everyone's right to freak out about them all the time the born to glow I usually like really matte stuff but I think this is so pretty I think I'm, my skin looks really good I'm so happy um this thing, again, it just it kind of burned my under eyes, but that's okay, right? I mean, I think it's just the caffeine and stuff that's getting it's getting my skin going, and my skin can be a little bit sensitive sometimes. Usually not that much, but it can be. Um, so yeah, I think it's a pretty successful haul. A pretty successful first time with Juvia's Place. Dang, these like knocked my socks off. So yeah. What a great haul. Thank you for watching my video this time around. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will catch you on the next one.